Xbox's yearly summer showcase is just a few days away, and so far at least, Microsoft's Army of Ninjas are keeping things pretty quiet this year. In previous years, and often by their very own store, reveals were spoiled before the show even began. Will it hold strong this time? Well, we'll see. This is the second year for Team Green in bringing their newly acquired publisher Bethesda along for the ride. Xbox's 23 first-party studios are all possibilities to show up at the show alongside the usual slew of third-party partners and delectable indies. With the delays of Starfield and Redfall, all eyes are now on this showcase to see if Xbox can turn their momentum back around. We've known for years that they've had a ton of games in development, but is this finally the year when we see some of these games actually play? Join us as we give our predictions, and yes, these are just predictions, not leaks of any kind, of what we may see at the Xbox Bethesda Games Showcase of 2022. Gears Collection A Gears Collection that bundles the first three games has been rumored for a while now, thanks Nick, and if it does exist, 2022 may be the time for it to release. Often pinged as the Gears version of the Master Chief Collection, this bundle of games would form an updated remaster of sorts of the original games. It would also mark the first time Gears of War 2 and 3 would arrive on PC. While it's not confirmed in any way by Xbox or the Coalition, it sure would be swell for fans of the series and we're pretty confident on this one. Forza Motorsport Turn 10's Forza Motorsport has been in development for a long time, and is being described as a reboot of the series. Originally announced back in 2020, it makes sense that 2022 would be the time to finally release the game. Internal testing has been going on for a while, with a few leaked images having already recently surfaced. While the title was tested in some capacity on the original Xbox One, the game is expected to release on Xbox Series X, S, and PC only, meaning true current-gen only racing may be on the horizon. Speaking of Horizon, we're long overdue for the first Forza Horizon 5 expansion. Will we see it this Sunday? We hope so. Halo Would it be an Xbox showcase without Halo? While Season 3 of Halo Infinite is still a while away, there have been plenty of rumors over the past few months of a possible Halo Battle Royale. Codenamed Tatanka, this mode is being developed by Certain Affinity, and there's a chance it may be ready to show this week. Otherwise, we all know that the game's Forge is set to release in open beta this September, Maybe we'll finally see our first, official, look at all the new features they've been working on there. A Plague's Tale, Requiem Announced as a game launching directly onto Game Pass, the sequel to the surprisingly great A Plague's Tale looks set to impress. We suspect we'll see some gameplay from this one ahead of its launch later this year, assuming it doesn't get delayed too, of course. Obsidian Obsidian are working on a lot, it seems. With the upcoming inevitable Grounded 1.0 release, signaling the end of the game's early access period, we also know that there are other projects in the works. Firstly, we have the already announced Outer Worlds 2. Not only that, but we also have the long-rumored Josh Sawyer-led project Pentiment, initially talked about by Jeff Grubb on his show Grub Snacks, and then further detailed by Jess Gordon over at Windows Central. Supposedly, the game has you playing as some sort of detective in 16th century Europe, working to solve a grisly murder. Said to be inspired by games like Disco Elysium, it'll feature all sorts of great diverse narrative that Josh Sawyer is known for. Will it be at the show? Well, we have the tweet from Josh himself, which hints at the possibility. 2023 Next year has been a running theme for Xbox's first party output since Microsoft began truly investing in the brand in 2018. 2022 was supposed to be the beginning of a new era, but with delays, 2023 is now being marked as the official beginning of something new. Starfield and Redfall have already been confirmed for the first half of 2023, and a few heavy hitters are likely to follow. We'll have to wait until June 12th to get an idea of Xbox's internal scheduling, but there's confidence that 2023 may be filled to the brim with first-party content. Starfield Bethesda Game Studios' next epic RPG will undoubtedly be shown at the June 12th showcase. It's Xbox's biggest game so far this generation, and has years of hype propelling it to become one of the most sought-after games in recent memory. Originally announced in 2018, Starfield has been in development for at least six years. Bethesda has promised an incredibly ambitious role-playing game, featuring unparalleled freedom and choice. We have heard lots of promising things about this game, but have yet to see anything other than brief in-engine teasers. That is soon to end, as the Bethesda Game Studios team are on the cusp of finally revealing this long-anticipated game. 
Unfortunately, the game itself has been delayed out of its initial November 11th, 2022 release date. Instead, all we have is an ambiguous first half of 2023 release window. The disappointment of this delay should hopefully be mitigated somewhat if the game shows well. Redfall Arcane's next game is being slated as part immersive sim, part vampire game, part optional co-op looter shooter. Very little is known about Redfall, and the team has been incredibly quiet about its development since it was announced last year. Some early leaked alpha footage did surface a while ago, but we'd love and fully expect to see more from the masters at Arcane. Avowed Now we mentioned earlier that it seems Obsidian will be at the show in some capacity. While Starfield is seemingly headlining, Avowed is a game we hope to see more from. Set in the Pillars of Eternity universe, this RPG could be Obsidian's answer to Skyrim, but we'd expect something smaller in scope, in similar vein to the first Outer Worlds. Will gameplay be shown? Well, we can only hope. Age of Empires Age of Empires 4 released on PC and was quite lovely. How about that console release? We think this is very likely to be headed our way this year and should please any RTS fans on console out there. Speaking of Age of Empires, will this finally be the show where we see that rumored Age of Mythology remaster? Hellblade 2 Now we've been lucky to have seen a fair bit from Ninja Theory's sequel so far, from the initial reveal to a stunning in-game sequence against a rather large, monstrous adversary. Will we get a date and a little more gameplay from the team? Time will tell. Contraband Contraband, an Xbox Game Studios publishing project from developers Avalanche Studios, was revealed via a nifty CGI trailer last year. With some very obvious hints to planned heists, a co-op focused open world game is on the cards, likely set back in the 70s for whatever reason. Sure it would be nice to get some gameplay on this one. State of Decay 3 We've got a funny feeling about this one. When we asked Phil on our podcast as to what game he's looking forward to showing more of, without picking favorites of course, he talked a fair bit about State of Decay 3 and how well the team are doing. The game was revealed via a CGI trailer a couple years ago, so could we see a gameplay reveal from Undead Labs? Perhaps so. Fable Will Fable show up? We really hope so. From the amazing team at Playground Games, who are now trying to bring their open-world racing expertise to the world of adventure RPGs, Fable has the potential to be absolutely massive for Xbox, heralding the return of a beloved IP with lots of modern bells and whistles. We're crossing our fingers on this one. Perfect Dark So what about Perfect Dark? In a similar vein to our hopes for Fable, the team at Xbox era really want to see the evolution and future of Perfect Dark in the hands of the initiative and co-developers Crystal Dynamics. The guns, the gadgets, sinister corporations and evil alien races, yes please. Japanese Games With the success Sega saw in bringing their entire Yakuza series to Xbox via Game Pass, we're hoping Phil and his team's trips to Japan have brought similar success in negotiating other legendary franchises to return to Xbox. Persona could do incredibly well in the service, and maybe, just maybe, we'll finally see that Final Fantasy VII Remake make its way to Xbox. Maybe. The Shadow Drop There's been quite a few rumors that the long-thought-dead GoldenEye remaster from Rare might be making its way back to life, and with recent evidence showing current Rare employees unlocking achievements for the game, perhaps Bond's Nintendo 64 outing might be coming back after all. A surprise release mid-show would certainly be a wonderful moment for fans looking to dip back into some nostalgic FPS gaming. New Hardware with the Xbox Series line of consoles launching just shy of a couple years ago, as well as ongoing chip shortages, the likelihood of a mid-gen refresh console, a la Xbox One X, is fairly low. And since the Series X and S are holding up far better than their last generation consoles, a new set of consoles so soon probably wouldn't be the best of ideas. We're then left with the other under-the-radar device commonly referred to as the Xbox Streaming Stick slash Box or codename Keystone, and its job is to do exactly what its reference means, streaming games from the cloud. As reported by Windows Central, the device has been in development for a couple of years now, and its feature set is still being finalized. Windows Central's Jess Gordon, however, doesn't believe we'll see the device at the upcoming showcase, so who knows when we'll see this product become reality. Mind you, they could always surprise us with a dedicated Xbox handheld, right? Now there's a lot of things we could touch on here. It's crazy, but there are so many projects, so many studios that for the first time in a long time were a little spoiled for choice. There are so many other studios that could have something to show, like Project Midnight from Compulsion Games, or perhaps Project Belfry in partnership with Stoic Studios via Global Publishing. 
Will we see more from Everwild from Rare? Well, we're not sure about that one, as it does look like it may have been rebooted internally, though we hope the art style remains intact. Now what about that rumored project with Kojima? A new 1 vs 100, the Wu-Tang Clan themed third person melee action RPG, Killer Instinct 2, Project Dragon from IO Interactive. The list goes on and on and on, but in our hearts, as always, there's one thing that we would really love to see. And that, of course, is Banjo-Kazooie. Long demanded by fans, perhaps finally, we can will this one into existence.